vlog, episode five. But this is five. <laughs> well, I was thinking it was episode four. Hello, I'm Jill. I'm Janet. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I think it's five. Now you're making me wonder. Pretty sure. No, I'm. I'm sure it's five. I'm sure you're right. But here like we are. High five. Like we're done. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Wondering how many people high fived. Give a thumbs up. Be sure to give us a thumbs up because that's how YouTube likes likes it. Subscribe, thumbs up, all the things. Leave a comment. That's great. Become a patron. Even better. All those things help. Yeah. So get to vote on the things that's and true. hang out with us sometimes on fridays or tuesdays and yep. patrons get to do lots of things so you can become a patron by going to www.patreon.com forward slash pearl together there's a link down below but that's what keeps the channel going and you get perks it's kind of like you know when you pledge to public radio or public tv or whatever and you know they send you a little something in the mail it's kind of like that, except that I don't say, well, I do send people things in the mail on occasion. Do you? You do. On occasion, but you get perks regularly. So you can check that out. Anyway, thanks for letting me plug that. Oh, also, we're going to plug the retreat because there's still a little less than two weeks left. If people want to register, the cutoff for registration is September 9th at midnight, mountain time, Eastern time, probably Eastern time. And the reason for that is the reason the cutoff is September 9th for both the in-person registration and the virtual sock summit. The reason the cutoff is then is because we have special yarn being made for the events. And so we have to have enough time for that to happen. I'm so excited for you to see them. So am I. You guessed it. Lauren from a girl in her wool is making, <laughs> you, making yarn for our events and the virtual you get your swag bag as well it's a box I will, I'm sending you a box so check out the registration for the sock summit 2022 Woo. yeah I'm so excited about that yeah. I have so much work to do lots of work to do in September yes good work fun work and your feet will be warm while you do it. It's true. I barely finished before we're recording this. Literally, my felted socks just came out of the spin cycle. Because that's what I do is I felt, 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 felt over and over and over and over. And then the last time when I think I'm done, I just let it run the whole cycle. Mm -hmm. You know, with some towels or something. And then it spins. And then they come, then they're done. You do. Do you do a little bit of shaping at the end? I'll just show you. Okay. Yeah. Because it's a little wonky, you know, mm -hmm. so you got to kind of straighten things out. Yeah. But look. Oh, look at them. It looks so good. The colors really look good. Yeah, there, you, got, you know, you do have to do, it's a little wonky. I don't worry a whole lot about, and you know, but, and sometimes, but it's so dry here. So I don't really need to, but you could put shop towels in there, like those blue thick absorbent or paper mm -hmm. towels, or if I'm mailing to, to someone and they're not quite dry. I might stuff newspaper inside there or or paper towels if I'm shoving them in the mail like today, but I'm not. They're mm -hmm. for me. So what I do, I to kind of round them out. Oh my gosh, look at them. They're so cute. <laughs> to round them out and keep oh now that one's like psychedelic. <laughs> it is. To round them out. To round them out. I well, I was gonna say to you that an environmental thing and stuff them with plastic bags but that's a good use for my plastic bags if I already have them just to help them keep their shape and to dry them a little bit because it's it's not dry here it's a little more humid here and then when they're a little bit dry um or about halfway through I take them out and then if they're for me I wear them so they will form exactly to my foot yes. um which is hilarious because if they're still wet sometimes I put my foot in a bag or but the thing is, even if you live in a more humid climate, newspaper or paper towels will absorb the moisture better than a plastic bag. That's a better idea and still help them keep their shape. Or you know what's even better than those things? Now, a lot of companies, when you get stuff from FedEx or Amazon or whatever, 
they they put that really thick brown paper in top of the box so you know the flaps don't crush so that brown paper is really thick and heavy and that's really good to f- shape your clogs with that would be nice i i like it because then you can once you have them formed and shaped you can help them keep your look at you oh yeah. they're so pretty these are the i made them for someone who has really tiny feet i'm My like feet you're so not small. Just tiny. <laughs> no she is she's tiny she's like five foot tall mine are you know for me so they're big <laughs> no, but yeah. these are, wow these are for her she was, and so those were those like a women's small or women's medium women's small and i had to felt them down they are eight inches long I had to felt and felt and felt and felt to get them the size they needed to be. And, you know, and I forget every time I make them because they go and they go and they go and it feels like they're not doing anything. And at the very end, they go. Yep. Yep. Somebody was talking about that in the Ravelry group where they're really disappointed that they didn't felt down. I'm like, just keep doing it. It'll go. It will just, I mean, just keep going. It does. And it sometimes it takes a while. These took me a while. I started one night and then finished the next morning because I don't even know. I think, you know how I said in the video, I do mine on like quick wash and I do it on hot and I set Mm -hmm. my watch or I set my, my phone for seven minutes because that's when I know I can pause it and it'll unlock the door. Mm -hmm. And then I can restart this quick wash cycle and put it back on hot water and do it again. And Mm -hmm. I put it, I put in with a handful of towels also like bath towels and dish towels and like different size things. And you could put racquetballs or tennis balls or whatever in there. I I didn't, but, or jeans, that's good. I was going to say jeans, I do yep. really well. Cause I, I did towels and towels and towels and it didn't go as yeah. quickly as but I wanted. I probably I did that in. cycle like 10 times. I mean, it took a long time. I was going to say I did it at least seven. Yeah. So I, I, machine machine. Machine. I wasn't sure what mine was going to do. Now, you know. I do. So now I can make my next set of clogs. And you know how many you'll take. Yeah. It's when you have a new appliance, it's, you don't know at really. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Because then you have leftovers like, and I'm not sure if you have any more of that green yarn. Okay. I do. (laughs) The basketball's a little smaller. Now it's more like volleyball size. It, It was larger than your head before. Yeah, I do. But maybe I'll make my husband some. There you go. You have to give him different, different color soles. So you can tell them apart. He has way big feet. Oh, okay. So I mean, he's six foot four. So he has massive. Yeah. Well, mine, I knitted mine. Mine are a men's. Well, the first men's size. So men's medium, I guess, because Uh I have a women's size 12. Or that's like a men's size 10. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mine are huge compared to your friends. My husband, I have to knit the men's large. And when you have them before you felt them down, they're like the size of my They look like a papoose that you carry a baby in. They're huge. You could. I mean, I wonder if you could use it for that. Wondering what you could do after they were felted. Oh, I do have to show you this picture. Or maybe I'll, I'll speaking of a papoose to carry a baby in, I forgot to post these pictures of James was smaller and I took a picture of him in my slipper. And I'll put a better picture in. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at him. He wasn't sure about that. But then he decided it was okay. He's so sweet. What does he think of the new digs? He's happy. Look. Aww. But now he's, I mean, this was a month ago. He's mm-hmm. hes big. He's bigger, way bigger now. He's not sure about this room, but he will. It'll be fine. Does he climb up into his little place back there? Sometimes he climbs my leg to get there. <laughs> and bloop, he's not in here right now. And I did close the door. Yeah. There we go. I like that we can see your little gnomes. And you have some ball decor up on the other side, too. You have some little pumpkins. I do. I'm not sure what happened to the other one. I think James took it. Oh, my God. But my daughter made these. They uh, are so cute. Yeah, they're just needle-felted little. 
I mean, they're not really cat toys, but she she just took like this one, I think was brown wool, like raw fleece. Well, it's clean, but it hasn't mm-hmm. been spun, you know. And then she just covered covered the wool with the colors that she wanted. Yeah. But she used, like you know, actual fleece for the body of it and then color covered it with the colors. That's cool. There's another one somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I think James put took it under the bed. I was gonna say I bet the kitties like that. It it looks like they would think it belongs to them. Yes. Okay, so it's almost the end of the month. I'm really glad that August has 31 days because I may or may not make it. Look at that. Oh, hold it up close so we can I have a big feet at the colors. Oh. But I have big feet. And despite that I only knitted an ankle size, I have long feet and they're for me. And this is only sock number one. So I, I just better knit faster and sleep less. The contrast color brings out that green. I really like it. And this contrast is just some stuff I had in my stash, you know, from like years ago. Because I tend to not throw out anything. And I think I I should. Did I tell you that I once lost the Marie Kondo book? (laughs) (laughs) It did it not bring you joy and you had to say goodbye to it. I actually was trying to use it and then I couldn't find it. (laughs) That's awesome. Yeah, that's a problem. What were you going to say? I was just going to say that I think I showed my socks last time, but you'd probably have to edit it out. Show it again. Because I forgot to stick them at my table. I'm staring at them that way. Well, go get them. My August socks. Nice. See, and my light is more yellowy. Your light is more cooler. My light's more warmer. So mine's going to bring out the blues. Yeah. And also just, you know, this darker green brings out the green and that I have warmer yellowy light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yep. And these are for my daughter. I thought they were for you. They were going to be for me. And she said how much she liked the yarn. And I think I figured out that... When I was looking at the stuff I was knitting for her, I was only knitting for her with the colors that I didn't like. (laughs) So it's still a lot of work. I typically don't wear a lot of oranges and I don't wear a ton of reds or like yellow based pieces. And so that was what most of hers were. And I thought, oh, I probably need to knit her something that she liked, you know. So that's what I did. So she got this. She she is getting these. She does not have them yet. Nice. So we're supposed to get our yarn club packages soon. You said yours arrived today. I was in the middle of nowhere. Today. So I'll probably maybe get mine tomorrow or even the next day. I like it very, very much. Excellent. I'm looking forward to watch. watch. People can watch your Instagram. Yes, but I won't post it yet. I just oh, post no. black we and white. Wait. We wait, yes. we wait until, you know, probably the fifth or sixth at least, just to make sure that everybody's gotten theirs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That way you can see it. It's a mood. So I'm sitting here knitting on this socks and it, let me just say my hands are burning. Why? Because I made salsa today and I was an idiot. I didn't use gloves when I chopped up all the peppers. Oh my gosh. What kind of peppers do you put in your salsa? A variety. I just went picking down the row this morning. And so that means there's serranos, there's banana peppers, there's Anaheim, uh, jalapeno, and then just some, you know, regular green bell peppers and red bell peppers. I just picked a few of each and threw them in the bucket. And then I was an idiot and didn't wear gloves and they're burning. Ouch. Still, like, I just need lotion, I guess. Because I took my shower. Oh, what are they? Surely somebody who's watching can tell you what to do next time. Wear gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did that after the fact. I I just picked up for my sleeve. Oh, nice. Finally. So this is the Mycroft by Isabel yeah. Kramer. And I start just barely started the broken rib on the bottom. It'll have about five and a half inches of broken rib. Um, 
but I got to the end of my ball and I really want to do my sleeves uh -huh. so that I can see if it, how it affects the fit lengthwise. Sure. Um, so I'm just going to do both sleeves and then I'll come back and, yeah. Do, yeah. and do the bottom. So is it just straight up stocking it on the, or is there any patterning on the sleeve or you just get to be on mindless sleeve Island and enjoy that? I just get to be on Sleeve Island and I am so excited. We like Sleeve Island. We find it to be like a tropical vacation. Other people it's hate Sleeve Island and they feel like they're stranded on a deserted island. It depends how you look at it. It's all about your attitude and whether you have good Netflix. Just it's very soothing. And every time I do the same thing, I picked up the sleeve last night and I went, why do I always put off picking up the sleeve? Because I love it. And it's not hard. It's not. No, it's not. So, and you, I think, teach us how to do that in the campsite cardi. Yep. We've done that several times in the campsite cardigan tutorials. Also the uh, harvest cardigan we had to pick up for sleeves mm -hmm. and well, and the, and this last one, the after the rain we did as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not hard. Yeah. Nope. I don't mind it. I like Sleeve Island. I especially like Stripey Sleeve Island because, you know, you kind of measure your progress with the stripes. Are you going to do the running stitch marker with the, like the, you know, waist yarn and you just go back and forth like this every 10 rows? I have not decided yet. Or 20 I rows? just pulled up my sleeves and I picked up an extra stitch on each side. Oh yeah. And so um, I just have to count and make sure that I've decreased that right away. And then I just have to read and see what my decreases are. Yep. I always pick up at least one or two extra, sometimes more. Yeah. So. And then I try when I'm weaving in my ends to try to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kind of cinch up any little holes there might be. Yep. Yes. Because I don't like that. I don't like the gappage. No. Nope. So I feel like Clog Vlog was lots of fun. It was Clog Vlog 2022. Yeah. I hope people have made themselves a cozy pair. Because then when they do their Christmas knitting or their fall knitting or their first, like, if you are in the Northern Hemisphere. Yes. Um. Yeah. When it starts to get cool, you can be cozy. I'm excited for the first frost. I'm excited. This summer has been dry and hot. And I'm excited for the first frost, which hopefully will come about mid-September. Maybe not till the end of September. You never know. Will you get will you get all the tomatoes in in time? Maybe. Maybe, but I have lots and lots of like old sheets that we use to cover and fr for frost. If I think it's going to frost, I'll like run out and throw a sheet on everything. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm starting to post, you know, harvesty things on Instagram. So follow over nice. there. If, you know, people want to know. My goal this year is 50 quarts of salsa. Yum. I only did six today, but it's a start. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's 10%. It is. A little more than 10. Yeah. Nice. Now, do, do you do them in a water bath or? Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yep. And people ask for my salsa recipe. So I'll just say right here, I kind of wing it. However, I base it upon a canning recipe that was in the Kerr canning book from like the 80s. I think my mother gave me this Kerr canning book when I was... Okay, it was early 90s because I was newly married and I got married in 89. So it was probably 91 or 92 when she gave me this little paperback. I mean, it's full eight and a half by 11 size, but it's thinner. And it's a, a canning book from, mm -hmm. the, you know, from the jar company from mm -hmm. Kurt. And it's in there. And I just, I mean, I kind of have doctored it up over the years, but that's the basic recipe. So. And I nice. scale it up hugely because the recipe is only written for five pounds of tomatoes at the time and i think i did like 20 pounds today wow yeah but that's not very much really mm -mm. so no my brother has asked for some salsa so i need to go i will i do not have a garden in my backyard so i will go to the farmer's market and ask for seconds i will get a box of seconds yes nice Yes. And the farmer's market people appreciate that. So 
So do I. Oh, and I love having the fresh tomato taste in December. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's what I'm doing. Canning, canning, canning. It has begun. Tomorrow is green beans. See, your slippers are ready right in time. Yep. But I got to knit my sock too. And there you I, go. I have retreat preparations. So it is busy. It's a busy month. So coming up on the channel in September, I'm going to do some brief uh, technique videos. So watch for that. And we might do the desk tour. Despite the fact that I've moved, I have all my stuff in a pile. So I, I might do what can. you said and just pull them out and be like, here's the I would love to see the desk tour. <laughs> Which is now kind of a, a tote tour. Because <laughs> it's in a tote. So a tote tour. We'll do that in September along with some little technique videos. So fun. That'll be good. Well, I'm preparing for a retreat. And so if people are interested in seeing Jill and I in Ogden, Utah, you can register until the ninth. So all right. Yeah. I want to see everybody's clogs. Everybody needs to post them in the Facebook group, Pearl Together Facebook group, and or the Ravelry group. That would be great. I'd love to see them. And if you post them on Instagram, put in there, tag me at Pearl Together, Pearl underscore together, and do hashtag Pearl Together and hashtag Felted Clog K A L. And they can tag you too, Kitchen Table Knits. I'd love yes, to see can. them. Yeah. Are you going to make more before Christmas? I might. I might. I keep saying that I'm not doing a pair for me because I try to wait till both soles have worn through, but it's pretty close. I'm I'm thinking I might end up with a new pair this Christmas. We'll oh see. yeah, my I have major holes and yeah. Yeah. Nice. So. Lovely. Thanks for joining me for Clog Vlog. I can't believe Thank it. We're done you. already. I know. Okay, but I'll put the link down below for the tutorial on felting. So you can watch how I do it in my front loader washer. You can also have, watch how you, you can do it by hand with a bucket. Okay. Thanks. Talk to you Thank later. You. Bye. Bye.